Welcome back to the homestead, everybody. It's a beautiful spring day out here in Kansas City. Go Chiefs. It's February, guys, and it is 53 degrees. It's gonna be a high of 58 today. In the greenhouse, it feels like it's about 80 degrees. It is smoking in here. Guys, I got a cool project for you today. We have these pallet tables that we're gonna be laying in the middle of our greenhouse. We almost got this greenhouse fully cleared out. But in the middle of our greenhouse, we're gonna have these pallet tables and we're gonna put starters on here. But we're still dropping temps down at night into the 20s. Sometimes on the random, a teen night will come. So we need to protect these starters really well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build cold frames out of these pallets so a little flip up top has a little greenhouse plastic over top of it that will keep our little babies nice and warm so they don't freeze and die in here i'm going to try to keep this project super simple straight to the point and cheap that's the goal we want to go cheap here i've bought about 45 dollars worth of supplies that can get me through two of these tables so you can pick all this stuff at your local big box store get all these supplies super straightforward so let's jump right into this project and get started like i said guys this isn't rocket science we're going to throw this thing together really quick cost effectively fast and simple that's the goal here let me show you the materials i'm using here so i was going to use two by twos i opted for a skinnier board here we're using half inch pvc and then we along with that we got half inch conduit uh strapping to hold it down I'm using a really short wood screw, three quarter inch, because of the small wood that I'm using. And then we just got some hinges, some angle, uh, some angle strapping, or you could use two by twos and just screw them all together. But I'm using small wood, so I gotta have these angles. And then I have greenhouse plastic in the backyard. I'm gonna grab that once everything, once the structure is together, and then we will staple that greenhouse plastic on to finish it all up. So let's jump right into this, get started. So one of the goals here is that every single pallet, we have a bunch of just random pallets laying out on the property. So I wanna reuse these, but one of the goals is to make sure that we're using the same size pallets. Pallets can range in different sizes. And this one right here is roughly a four by three and a half. Make sure when you're doing this and you go to build your next one after your first one, you have the right or the same pallet size. So we got four feet on this side and then we're just gonna overlap the sides by three quarters of an inch to account for the, uh, for the wood. We got all our sides cut. Let's go ahead and assemble the main frame and then put our angle straps on. All right, we got our frame built, uh, super simple, like I said. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our hinges on. I just wanna see how this goes back and forth. All right, there's our main frame. Hinges on this side. Might have something to, I don't know, like a little piece of string or rope that holds it from going all the way. All right, now that we got that part done, let's go ahead and um, cut our PVC. I'll see what kind of length we want and then we will add our uh, conduit strapping, get the PVC strapped up and then we'll staple the greenhouse plastic on.
pretty tall. Dang. Alright, we'll do it right there. Alright, ratcheting PVC cutters. Still super light. That'll hold the plastic up. I mean, you can grow some tall plants in there. We'll do one in the middle and then one on the other side and then we'll call that structure good. I wanted to add that little support because I didn't want all the weight falling back on the two hinges in the rear. Just would have busted them off after a while. So we got a little support rope there. That'll just sag down. And can open it up, let it pull on that without having to worry about these hinges. Good, all right, let's get some greenhouse plastic from the backyard. We'll go ahead and staple that on and then we'll be all done. Okay, so traditionally, you know, if we think about this as a small greenhouse, you have a purlin that runs across the top. I don't have an extra piece of PVC. You could have a, what's called a purlin that runs through the center on the top. So it keeps these from kind of bending too far in or out. So for now, we're just gonna attach a little string. That'll keep it so it wants to bounce back if it gets pulled in. So that should do it for now. Here it is, we're all done. I do like the way it turned out. It's kind of, you know, it is what it is. It's gonna serve its purpose. So I'm excited about that for sure. So opens up, got our seed trays. And these are just gonna go right in here. I'm just seeing how many we could potentially fit. Going this way. One, two. So three across. Maybe another row. That'd be nice. There we go. So you can fit six trays on each pallet. Obviously a nice hinged opening that you can access your seedlings real quick. Um, under here we just have cinder blocks. Super simple. Um, and like I said before, we're going to run these down the middle of the greenhouse. So this is gonna be our seed starting setup for this season. So you can quickly access your seeds, check on how they're doing, water them real quick, and then shut it back real quick. Super simple, easy setup. Couple final thoughts that I wanted to touch on. Some of you might be asking the question, well, you have a greenhouse, why do you need to build a greenhouse inside of a greenhouse? Well, we are wanting to start our seedlings early this year, and normally we start them in the basement and we use grow lights, but I really wanna start utilizing this greenhouse to the fullest extent. So we are gonna be starting our seeds in here this year, no grow lights, and this extra layer of protection just ensures that when our seedlings pop up, they're not getting squelched out by that intense cold. Out here in Kansas City, we do, even into March, we get temps that drop down into the 20s and even in the teens. And so that can pretty much kill your starts immediately. So even though we have the greenhouse, this extra layer of protection will ensure that our starts are gonna survive. One really good aspect of this hinge system is that in the past I've dealt with bug netting and even plastic like this, and it's really a pain to, be, to have to go out, throw that stuff back, clamp it down, and make sure that it's gonna stay while you work on your plants. This, even though it takes a little bit more effort on the forefront, is such a, um, an easy way to come out here, 
I need to water the seedlings real quick, flip this thing up and immediately can just go ahead and water my seedlings, take care of them, whatever it is, and then flip it back down. So that's why I decided to spend the extra effort and do this on the forefront. Guys, spring is coming and next week we are going to be planting our seedlings. So we're gonna be building, I don't know how many more of these, a bunch more of these. We have a community day where a bunch of people are gonna be coming out to the homestead and helping us get ready planting their own seedlings and planting some for this homestead. So guys, thank you for following along with our journey. Give me a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.